The world is full of brick factories and Pakistan's got a whole bunch of them to pump out bricks like there's no tomorrow. This Pakistani brickyard built its own automatic brick-making machine. It's simple yet effective. They've mastered the art of physics and mechanics combined. No blueprints needed here. They've got all the measurements memorized. First up, crafting the main wheel. Precision is key. So they use a DIY compass to draw perfect circles. Outer circle done. Time for the inner one, with the circles marked. It's time for the stone cutting magic to happen. They follow the lines flawlessly, because this cut needs to fit the bearing like a glove. Talk about precision. Every detail matters. Gotta make sure the bearing sits just right. Cutting's done. Time to work on the bearing. They use an old one as a guide. And add a circle on top. Centering is crucial. Then they weld it in place. Next step, fitting the bearing. Freshly welded and ready for action. The bearing takes a trip to the lathe, inside and out. Gotta make it smooth. The lathe may be vintage, but the skills are timeless. In a flash, it's turned and polished, revealing that shiny metal glow. Time to put it all together. Thanks to that perfect circle they cut earlier. Placing the bearing is a breeze. Align it just right. A touch of welding and boom. Now, for the brick shaping wheel. They grab two identical steel plates. Lots of holes to drill here. To fit those brick molds later on, even spacing is key. So they weld the plates together, nice and tight. Time for some drilling action. But before they start, consistency is everything. They use a template and tack weld it in place to avoid any unwanted shifting. Let's get drilling. There we go. Following the template's lead. They make those holes with ease. Drilling's done. They use a grinder to remove the weld, separating the two plates. Now, Let's get those bearings in. A little lubrication first. Then slide the bearing in. A few gentle taps with a hammer, and it's a perfect fit. Next up, the wheel axle. Resourcefulness is key. They repurpose an old axle and weld circular steel plates on both ends. Voila, a simple yet effective axle, but it needs a little refinement before installation. Time for some lathe love. Gotta get rid of that rust and make it shine. The lathe works its magic, revealing that beautiful metal underneath. They measure meticulously to make sure it's the perfect size. A touch of grease, and it's time to fit the axle into the bearing. Secure it with a sledgehammer, connecting it to the steel plates. Talk about a workout, a full day of hard work. And they're finally done. With the rough assembly of the main wheel, next, creating the brick molds. They grab a curved steel plate and use a hydraulic press to bend it to shape. With all the plates bent, they fit them into a custom-made frame. Two steel plates from a perfect rectangle, matching the exact dimensions of a brick. Tighten those bolts. Make sure it's nice and snug and weld it in place. While welding, they double check the alignment to ensure everything's perfect. Measure twice. Weld once, with skillful hands. They create a whole bunch of brick molds. But wait, they're not ready for installation just yet. They group them in pairs, place them carefully, and then they weld them together. Place them carefully and weld them together. Teamwork makes the dream work. With all the molds connected, it's time to attach them to the main wheel. But first, some more drilling. Gotta make those holes on both ends. Time to attach the molds. Tighten those bolts, folks. To maximize brick production, they place the molds super close together. We're talking about a mere three centimeters between each mold to prevent clay jams. They weld a steel plate between the molds, creating a gap for smooth operation. Next on the agenda, gears. They grab a gear plate 
and cut it right down the middle. Two halves make a hole, right? Two gear halves, that is. Teamwork is essential here, as they carefully adjust and align the two halves to create one complete gear. Time to attach it to the main wheel. But first, more measuring. They mark the wheel with a DIY compass to ensure perfect placement. They draw a circle as a guide. Let's put that gear in place. Easier said than done, with no fancy tools. It's a team effort to align and adjust. Those gear halves, gotta make sure. They mesh perfectly before welding them securely. Weld it like you mean it. Time for the rollers. After some testing and adjustments, they install them inside. As the wheel spins, the rollers push the pusher bar, which in turn pushes the ejector plate. Releasing the bricks from their molds, down they go, now. For the ejector plate, basically a part of the mold itself. This part requires precision too. Each mold needs its own ejector plate. And because it comes into direct contact with the bricks, it needs to be flawlessly smooth. They use a lathe to even out the surface and then a grinder to smooth out the edges. Every millimeter counts. Once polished, they can be used to make the wheels. Every millimeter counts. Once polished, they secure it to a holder and drill holes for the pusher bar. Drilling's done. Time for the final touch. They attach the pusher bar and it's a wrap. The ejector plate is then attached to the main wheel. While they're securing it, they test it out making sure it moves smoothly and that the ejector plate and brick mold fit perfectly. Time for the final insulation. After numerous steps and two and a half days of hard work, the main wheel is complete. They install it onto the brick making machine and voila. Let's see this thing in action. As the wheel turns, pop those bricks. Not only is it efficient, but the quality is consistent too. We're truly impressed by their ingenuity and hard work.